welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a, a guest geologist on to talk about one of my favorite rock types and one of my favorite rocks, the Brescia. All right, so there's there's two ways to make a, a, a rock we call a breccia. And a breccia is, is, a, is a rock that has a matrix and class in it. And you can see here that these class are very, very angular, which means that they haven't traveled very far. So what has happened here is the rock, this is probably a greenstone, so a metabasalt, so a basaltic rock, which has gone through high pressures and temperatures. We would probably call it a greenstone, has been fractured and started to uh, open up. And during that process of opening up, fluid has been pumping through that fracture. But because of the, the fluid moving through that, that crack at probably some um, pressure and, and velocity, we wind up actually breaking up. And here you can see exactly how this process is happening, where the fluid has been pushing into this fracture here and loosening up this chunk. So this, this would have been the next chunk floating out in this vein. The vein is mostly quartz. It's, it's not a, a typical quartz color because it's a bit uh, enriched in, in iron. So it's probably uh, iron hydroxide mixed with the with quartz. Um, and so that gives it the color. So again, there are two ways to make breches and this is one that's uh, structural. So you've had, you've had this uh, process of opening up a rock and fluid coming through and, and breaking away pieces of it to form a, what we call a breccia. And you can see that they're all different little veins in this rock. So probably um, there are many more veins like this right next door to this, this particular thing. And this would be something that if, if a, in the old days, a prospector would be out looking for gold, they'd see something like this and get very excited and, and hope that, oh my goodness. They're, and especially now if we could see some sulfite or something here, then there would be a, an idea that now we should start digging this thing up and see if we can find gold because if there's sulfide in there then there might be gold as well. So it's again it's class of one rock and in some kind of matrix and uh, you can form breaches if you have a, a, a mud flow come down the side of the hill uh, and then that rock becomes uh, what we say indurated becomes hard and that can be a rock that has very angular class in it. That what we would call a breccia. You can also make rock out of, rocks out of sediments that have come down the river, for example. A river sediment that becomes buried deep enough to become lithified and turn into a rock. But in that case, the cobbles or the pieces inside would be rounded, and then we would call that a conglomerate. That's another name for it because it has a different different way of forming. So brushes and conglomerates are similar. But similar but different in the respect that the class are round in a conglomerate and they're very angular in a brecha like this. 